Hello. 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 Good morning. ML. Good morning. Hello. 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 Hello, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to the final HMS Today of the Year. I'm your host, Cameron August. A big thank you to Alex Tannenbaum for making our pre-credit open. That was all of our hosts this season. We've got lots to wrap up, so let's dive in. Mr. Rockwood is back for a Fun Fact Friday finale, so take it away. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that on this day in history, June 8th, that the first commercially made ice cream was offered for sale in New York in 1786? That's right, ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream. Now to help me with the second fun fact for today is Mr. Capital himself, Luke Scanlon. On this day in history in 1869, Mr. Ives McGaffey of Chicago, Illinois, received a patent for his invention of a machine that sucked up dirt by means of whirling force and wind in a container. He called it, you guessed it, a vacuum cleaner. Now, make it a great day, be kind to one another, enjoy the summer, and read a great book! Mr. Rockwood is one of our most supportive contributors, and we're grateful for his work. So we decided to thank him, HMS TV style. Well, HMS wanted to say that we have been your number one fan, and we want to give you this. Well, thank you so much, HMS. Thank you, Nate. We thank thank you, you, Christian. I really appreciate this. Congratulations, Mr. Rockwood. You deserved it. Coming up next, we have a minute with the faraway principal, Mr. Keller, who is currently in New York. Are you there, Mr. Keller? Good morning, I'm here with Manoli Barris and we are in New York City. Manoli, take it away. Hello, uh, so it's Thursday morning, about 10 o'clock, and yesterday we actually went to a play called Wicked. Fantastic play, I would definitely recommend it to all of you. Uh, something that's really cool about New York is the beautiful architecture that it has. I mean, look at this. That is really cool. The streets are really busy. Actually, you can see some policemen back here right now. It's a little cloudy, but you know, good temperature. Um, the street's really busy as well. That is the Oculus. It's the most expensive train station in the world. That is, I was just informed, the most expensive train station in the world. Four million billion, actually billion, not million, billion dollars it costs to make that. So that is just amazing. Um, make it a great day and have fun. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Keller. And now we have a minute with a student. Actually, several students. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not airing that. Excuse me? That came out way too silly. We haven't even got it past the censors yet. Oh, okay. Well, if we get that approved, you'll find it online at our website. Just scroll down for HMS TV videos. Now let's check in with question of the day. Today we're asking, what's your best studying advice? Nope, that was actually pretty silly as well. We'll post it online. Okay. Let's go to our backup question of the day. What was the best day of your life? My wedding day and then also the day that my children were born. Two separate days. Won my first solo win in Fortnite. The day I met Mr. Keller, Mrs. Ben Benick, and Mrs. Lape. They are the inspiration in everything that I am about. I think they are the greatest people in the history of the world. When we went to Paradise Kids. When I started singing pe parroted pizza songs for Monday performances. Yeah, that was good. When I'd wake up each Friday, go to school, and watch Manoli Bears each morning on HMS Today. Buying $100 worth of V-Bucks. The best time of my life was when I got my phone. The best time of my life was when I went on a cruise last week. The best time of my life was when Fortnite finished downloading. One time I found $3 on the ground. The best time of my life would have to be when I found out how to spell commercial, C-O-M-M-E-R-C-I-A-L. When I got my first Fortnite win. Loved it, but until you've anchored our show, your best day may be ahead of you. Just saying. And speaking of our show, Nolan, come up here. Every week at HMS TV, we sign in to our roster, and Nolan has just won the award for the highest attendance. Congratulations, Nolan, and here's an HCAM messenger bag. Now, clear out. This is my show. You may know next week is elections here at HMS, and our club taped all the candidate interviews. I know Ms. Abate is in charge, but since we have the footage, let's watch it. Roll the tape. <laughs> Ooh, 
Well, no spoilers there. Our last segment of this year is a look at some of the stereotyped middle school students. Watch this. Get started on these. I'm here. Where have you been? You're late. Again. Nolan, wake up. Capital Brunei is Bender Seri Bagawin. Okay. The capital of Madagascar is Antenna Narubo. Shut up! <laughs> What's large gray and doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> oh, I got our homework. Nah, I'm on. Oh, we had homework? Shoot. Are you kidding me? Dude, you always oh, forget. No. Are you one of those types? If so, you have my sympathy. And now, all we have left for you is the birthday scroll. Do, 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 do. Happy birthday to you all. Finally, it's have you seen this time. Our six winners this week, thanks Michael, are Ryan Darbanga, Alexander Longman, Akalish Yelchuro, Robert Ratcliffe, Aiden Cassidy, and Catherine Connolly. Sorry if I pronounced your names wrong. Congrats and see Miss McBride in the main office for your new HCAM water bottle. Now, find everything we do at our website and send us comments to hmstv at hillers.org. Until next week, uh, I mean next year, get out there and study hard for finals. It's been a wonderful year. Farewell. Farewell. Farewell, HMS. Farewell to all my teachers in the seventh grade. Farewell, school. I just wanted to wish you all a great summer. Bye, Aqua team. Farewell, Hopkinton Middle School. I'm not sad that it's over. I'm just glad that it happened.